Hi folks, fellow YouTubers and friends. Uh, I've showed this video of this two-stage oscillator several times and very little explanation. Very little. Uh, this time I'm going to actually operate it and try to show you what's going on here. We have a pendulum swinging that's pretty dang on heavy, but it's nowhere near as heavy as this. It weighs approximately 46 pounds, but the weight of the pendulum is not as important as the work it's going to do by adding just a little bit more energy into it. The weight here is 74 pounds. I'm going to have this pendulum that weighs 46 pounds pick this 74 pounds up one or one or inch or more or less, three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half. You just watch it, okay? Watch, watch the weight. Now, here's the deal. I took bathroom scales, put my hand on the floor, and the most I could press with my fingers was 21 pounds. That was everything I had. If I was to press with my fingers 22 one pounds one time every two seconds, I couldn't do that more than a minute or two. My fingers would get tired. But I can push on this evidently with less than 20 pounds of force because I can do it many, many times. Many times. For only an inch. Just do this. That's all I got to do. Just that. Just to keep this thing swinging. Once I get it high enough to build enough momentum to lift this, then that's all I have to do. Until then, I have to put a lot of energy into it to get it to lift. But once it starts lifting, I put in very, very little energy. Watch and see what happens. Please. Here we go. We've got to build it up. Once it's built, then it's a matter of just maintaining. Do you see my hand is not moving very hard. Oh, it's just the finger. So it's obvious that I'm putting in a whole lot less than any 20 pounds of energy. Yet I am picking up 74 pounds of weight, one to one and a half inches twice for every time I do this. See, I'm not even getting tired. I could do this for 15, 20, 30 minutes straight without even, without even getting tired. Just watch for a minute. Okay, folks, <clears throat> it should be obvious to anyone watching this video that this machine is definitely, once you get it started, it is definitely putting out more energy than I am putting in. Now, some people want to call this over unity, I don't. I call this a machine that can take the potential force of gravity of potential. This is a force that's not moving. Gravity is a force. It pulls on things. This machine simply takes potential energy, energy of gravity and changes it to kinetic energy. It couldn't do that if it wasn't for the laws of physics. Everything about this thing obeys the laws of physics. I don't know what to say. I wish somebody would build one. I want help. I don't need money. I don't need donations. I got gobs of money. I just want somebody to help build one of these damn things. Let's compare notes. If it's interesting, get involved. 
this machine can produce enough power to run itself and I've already figured out how to do it. In fact, we started yesterday building a bigger one, stronger and heavier that will run itself. Once you get it started, turn it loose and it will not only produce more power than it needs to run, it will take a little portion of the power that it produces to keep it running and it will run 24 hours a day. Rain, wind or shine, snow, sleet or hail, just put it in an open shed so that it can't get uh, wet and freeze up and stop. Got to put a little grease in it once in a while. Okay, folks. Hopefully I've said enough. Please, somebody build one of these. You don't have to build it this strong. You don't have to build it this heavy. Just build something. But if you do, don't build a toy. Build something that would work and can do some work. But just remember, you're dealing with a swinging weight. Any movement outside of the movement you want is wasted energy. So don't do like I did on my first experiment and build it so light the damn gonna thing was just rocking and shaking all over hell and creation. The framework on this is a thousand pounds. Just the framework. And it's welded and it's solid steel. It doesn't move. The next one we build will weigh over 3,000 pounds. Hopefully y'all get to see it. Come on. I don't need donations, I don't need money. I got plenty of money to build this. What I need is somebody to help with figuring out the where's and the why's and the mathematics of it. I've got a lot of it figured out, but not to the nitty gritty yet. Okay? Thanks folks, appreciate your help.